Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got Nurse Bass here. Woo -woo. What's going on? We're in South Carolina hanging out, did a little meetup. We've been hanging out on the beach and we decided to knock out some content for you guys. So I've been getting my questions on here. Um, and this one is you, from... You care if I cuss on the channel? No, it's fine. <laughs> They're like, yeah, no shit. Like, we live <laughs> shit all over social media. Um, Lana B asked, um, I'd love to hear how you stay in love with your job and what keeps you motivated. And I like this question because I feel like there's a lot of days that we go home as nurses and just feel really defeated and really like, I hate my job. And I'll admit, I, I mean, I feel like a lot of times we're posting about how great nursing is, which it is. But like the reality is there's days that you come home and you're like, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going back. Yeah. <laughs> so like, what do you do? do to like really stay motivated and like in love with your job yeah um yeah so you know obviously if you're a nurse well this is probably this is geared towards nurses this isn't more this is more so nurses than nursing students right mm -hmm. if you're a nurse you know that you're going to have bad days you know that that's just part of it i mean no no job is perfect and you're going to have days where you're just drowning and like you go home and it's just like the hell with this job <laughs> <I'm> exhausted <laughs> but um, you know that's and that's kind of one of the reasons why there's a very high like burnout rate mm -hmm. uh, among certain uh, specialties within nursing. I think the really the real key thing I've talked about this before is always remembering your why. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did you do this to begin with? That's the biggest question that that you need to hold on to. Mm -hmm. You know, if it was for financial security for your family so that you have a nice career and you're s stable you're raising a family or whatever it is whatever your purpose was you really always had that desire to care for patients mm -hmm. always hold on to that and then i think remembering that your why can also change you mm -hmm. know like maybe what you became a nurse for and now your whys are different so mm -hmm. like every day you're developing your whys whether it's like something outside of the nursing world or maybe you have a patient that just really inspired you and like that's your why like we get so many people that i don't say we don't enjoy taking care of that's the wrong words but like they're just really draining patients difficult patients and then you get those that you're like you know you saved their life or you know you made a difference yeah. and like now that is another like little piece that you can put in your why basket of like this is why i do this job yeah it's, it's those moments that i i don't know i mean the the thank yous the gratitude from patients mm -hmm. can often seem few and far between but i mean whenever you get that it's like I don't know. It, it makes it all worthwhile. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely remember your why and just try it. I don't know. What is it? Glass half full kind of perspective. Yeah. Like. I'll tell a little story. I had a patient that I took care of three days in a row and very, um, not, not difficult in the sense of the patient, the family, just a very sick, sick patient and not doing so well, probably was not going to end up doing so well. And I really kind of bonded with the family and they really like respected me and like were thankful for what I was doing for their loved one. And I, a few weeks later, there was a little letter in my little mailbox at work and they actually sent me a card that said like, thank you so much, really? blah, 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 and like went on. And, and they gave me a little Starbucks That's awesome. Card. No, that's really <laughs> awesome. Because that stuff like rarely happens. It does. And I was like, I, I, I was almost like, am I allowed to accept this? Like this is like unheard right. of, you know? But it was yeah. awesome. And, and also just having like life balance outside of work. You know, if you go home and just let work eat away at you, then you're never going to come back like rejuvenated and ready for the next time. you got to really have an outlet outside of work, whether it's talking with friends or exercising or sitting down, taking a nap, watching a movie, whatever yeah. it is, but having playing, that balance. Playing the piano. Playing piano, playing video games. Not me. Not playing hey, video man. games. <laughs> do what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. Remember your why, people. So I think that's good advice. We're really good at advice. We're really I mean, listen, <laughs> if you're looking for top-notch advice, Right here. You don't, need, you don't to need to go any further. Yeah, this is right where it's at. Well, if you guys are not subscribed to Nurse Bass, his don't channel will be linked down below. Uh, go subscribe. We're going to be live streaming all this fun stuff. Actually, by the time this is up, we'll already have live streamed. Anyways, so go check it out and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.